What a crisp, cool evening. We are live outside at Empire Fight Camp. I'm Todd Grisha. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Hey, Saction, it's Saction night. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. And here is the destroyer, Connor. And here is the destroyer, Connor Ben, one of the most exciting and electrifying fighters in the world today. Sugar Ray. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner. Introducing from Essex, England, a continental welterweight champion, Connor the Destroyer Ben. Fighting out of. You've heard of people dancing underneath the moonlight tonight? It's a fight underneath the moonlight, and what a fight it should be. You can hear the noise, you can hear the fans. I've been to many, many fights like this, and it's very, very eerie. Good luck. Deep. High hopes for this battle between these two athletes. The courage on display here is incredible. Punch. Have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? That's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media. It's time to settle the score. Punch, counter punch. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he fails to score with that left hook. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Nice exchange here from both men. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Nice counter. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Dominance. What do we expect to see here in round two? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Exchange punches. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. He misses with that jab. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. Counterpunch. Neither man really defending themselves. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He parries away that left hook. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. A lot of people love watching fighters in this weight class because they've got the speed and they've got the power. 
The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. I would say the glamour is the heavyweights, but the middleweights, it's the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights at middleweight are oh, ridiculous. That is what writes our history book. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. Come on, look across at him. Look at him now. It's so important now on this There's the bell to start round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Going to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots, but that leaves more opportunities for head shots. Got his gloves up to block the left jab. Counter punching. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Men step back for just a moment. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Great round, great round. Now, relax, relax. Now, don't wait till the Lord. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you, they want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. That left counter punch will score. Nice counter shot. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. Perfect counter shot. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. He blocks the hook. Nice exchange here from both men. Beautiful counter shot. That's 
and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Blocks that left hook. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. Every second, every minute of this fight is in. There's the bell to start round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come up and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fager to pickpocket them. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Good counter her left hand there. That left counter was perfectly timed. Neither man really defending themselves. He missed with that jab. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fight. On to the sixth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Nice counter shot. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons. And they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. And he just missed with that left. So time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. A knockout victory. That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here. I've arrived. Try that again. It will happen all over again.